right so this is gonna be just a quick and tutorial on how to get some uh, really nice quick renderings out of V-Ray from Rhino so I've gone ahead and I've got Soon's uh, model in here for the bathtub and we're gonna go ahead and basically set up a lighting system well not really set up just load and then apply a quick material from a website and then we're gonna go ahead and at that point be ready to render so uh, we have some geometry in here and I'm gonna try and find the one that has thickness all right, so it's this guy. Uh, and so the first thing we want to do, uh, if we were to render this out, all these things would be floating, so we need to insert a ground plane. Uh, V-Ray has a little click tool over here. We can add an infinite ground plane. We'll just select that, and I'm going to go ahead and lock that geometry so we can't accidentally move it. So now we can start to position ourselves in here. Uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load some of the presets for the, goals, uh, the lighting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be sending this to all of you guys that are in Dave's studio here. And so we'll go ahead, I'm just going to set this to medium because we're not looking for a super high quality. Um, but if you guys, the sky's the limit. There's some in here that you guys can toy around with where they've been set up and modified for product design stuff. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay, so that go ahead got, has gone ahead and load the lighting system in, loaded the lighting system in. And then if we come over here, I'm just going to go ahead and select our geometry poly surface and if I click on the M here for materials right right click on scene materials load material uh, we can go ahead and load the car paint or the car paint two guys that I have loaded in here so I'm gonna go ahead and just select this guy I don't know what this is in particular but if I select this then down here I can update the preview and it's red car paint uh, so that is actually loaded from a website called vizmats.com uh, and so these these guys offer all kinds of free materials for you guys to go through and explore so if you wanted to do some brush metal if you wanted to make a bathtub out of grass um, but if you go to automotive materials there's a lot in here for you guys to go through and, uh, and check out uh, again so you guys can have at this you want to do some plastics uh, if you want to do like a nice sort of porcelain look you can take these and then modify the colors uh, in the actual material itself. So if we go over here and scroll down, you can see that this is the actual color. And so say I wanted to do this in gold for some reason, I can update the preview, and that has gone ahead and updated that. So with the object selected, I'm going to go ahead and right click on the material and apply material to the selection. You can also apply it to the layer, which will affect all the objects, uh, but we don't really need to do that. And so if I go in here, uh, you can hide all these other geometries. Uh, but if we go over here, now we should be able to just go ahead and set up render. Uh, it's going to automatically render out of the viewport. Uh, if you want to change that, let's see here, output, scroll down. Uh, you can override the viewport if you want to do something bigger, say you're doing something for a board or something of that nature. Uh, so let me go ahead and just hit render. And we have a pretty nice, clean rendering that comes out of that. And we get a lot of nice soft shadows out of that. So you can go ahead and just hit save, desktop. Soon. We'll call that the JPEG. Okay. All right, and that should be everything you guys need to do for all of the renderings.